Bless the name of Jesus. We worship the Lord. Bless his holy name. Praise his holy name. Praise God. Bless his holy name. Truly, brethren, God has been good to us. I mean, so good. So, so good. You know, when I think of how much God is good for us, it made me really look back in life. God has taken some time out for us. You may not understand what I said. God takes some time out for you and I. And this is why we are here today. And when this little inspiration came to me, I was thinking. And when it came to Bridget, I was sitting at the lunch table at work, having my lunch. And when it came to me, the tears started to flow at my lunch at the table. And I said to myself, what am I crying about? And it's like a voice said to me, say, there's a lot to cry about. And you know who came to me when he said that to me? Those that turned their backs on God. Who was a part of the blessed church of God. And so then, another day again, I went into the custard closet. And it came back to me and I cried again. I cried four times. This thing came to me at least four times. And when I think about it, I said, when I think about it, I said, God takes so much time out for us. And the topic I have today, whose house are we? And when I think about it, brethren, I said I was there, and I think, I was thinking, I said, God said, let us make man in our own image, in our own likeness. Bless the name of Jesus. And I was picturing how God was making man. But how I picture him, Sister Jen, it was like a white sheet on the floor. And God lay out all the, the bones, the fingers, the ankle bone, the neck bone, the back bone, the rib. God laid them out, brethren. The head bone. It was all bone there, brethren. That's what I was thinking. And I said, brethren, when I look and see how God had put the pieces on the inside, the heart, the lungs, the kidney, the brain, the intestine. God put them together, brethren. And when, when man were finished, brethren, God closed up the white sheet, pastor, and zip it up. Man was complete. But yet, man did not have any life in them. They were still dead. But the God of heaven stooped down and he breathed the breath of life into man and man became a living soul. And I go back and I think, I said, sometime we are going to build a house. We find this part of ground and we clear it off. You just have to start being like that. You measure all the size house that you want to build. You dig out the foundation. You put in all the plumbing. You pour the foundation. And you start to build. When you look at the past, you start to build. The house has become a skeleton. Because it is not complete. You are building. You start to do the addition. You add the roof. You add the window. You do the stucco. You do the drywall. You put on all the parts that you put, put on. And you paint it. Put on the front door. And you close the door. The house complete. Bless the name of Jesus. This is how God made us. And we were complete. When your house complete, Sir Jennifer, you move into your house. God Almighty. So when God complete us, Pastor, He moved into our lives. Bless the name of Jesus. And when He moved in, Pastor, no, we can't worship God. Because there's life in the vessel. Bless the name of Jesus. And that's so I, 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 the question come to me and I was thinking, praise God. And while I was looking, I, was, I find Hebrews chapter 3. And I was reading. We are for holy brethren. Partake of the heavenly calling. Consider the apostle and the high priest of our profession. Christ Jesus. Who was faithful to him that appointed him. As also Moses was, a faithful, was faithful in all his house. For this man, this man was counted worthy of more glory than, Mo, than, than, than Moses. Much more glory. In as much as he who art built the house, he had more honor than the house. 
The God that made us, he have more honor than us. Even when Moses was faithful, but Christ was still worthy more than Moses. He was worthy more than Moses. And I said, I give God thanks and praise for that. For every house is built by some man. But he that built all things is God. The God who made the heaven and the earth, the tree, the bird, the animal, he made mankind. Everything around us, it is about God. Whose house are we? We belong to God. Sometimes forgot who we belong to. We want to do our own thing. It don't work like that. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were before spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house. Whose house are we if we all fast the confidence and the rejoicing of our hope firm unto the end. You have to hold fast the confidence, the hope firm unto the end if you want to be the house of Christ. As you are not. Sometimes we come to God and we do that all our end of the bargain firm. We, I mean, we skip and we have to step out and step in. It don't work like that. You want to be a child of God who has the confidence and the hope that God placed in you firm and to the end. As I always remind the church, it is not the end. So it doesn't matter how much I can do. If I don't hold firm and to the end, brethren, I will not be able to make it unto the end. But I have to hold on. I must hold on. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. Say, so wherefore, as the Holy Ghost are said today, if he will hear, hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the, in the provocation, in the days of temptation, in the wilderness, when your father tempt me, prove me, and saw my work 40 years. The children of Israel forgot about whose house they were, brethren. Who's, how, who they belongs to. When they were down in Egypt in slavery, they forgot about after God that took them out. They forgot about God. They only think about themselves. But we don't want to think about ourselves today. We want to think about God because we were nothing before God. I was nothing before the true God. I was in sin and shame and disgrace out there. But God has made a way through Jesus Christ. And here am I in the blessed church of God declaring the words of God. Through his blessed anointing. Praise his holy name. And I'm saying today to us. Always remember who's house are we. The Bible said our body is a temple of the living God. A temple can declare the house also. When you defile the temple, God said he will destroy you. When I look at it, you know, I didn't know about the lesson, you know. And when I listen to this morning, it's almost in line with this. I say, my God. God, see before the right time. But I'm saying to us, let us remember who we are, brethren. We are the people of God. We have to be a light. We have to keep shining. We have to keep growing in God spiritually. Because if we don't, we're going to find ourselves on the outside. And we don't want to find ourselves on the outside. We always want to be inside. So I'm saying to us, Remember whose house are we? Remember, I said the breath in our body does not belong to us, it belongs to God. So, in spite of out of God and Christ, you still have some form of God on the inside of you because you have God breath in your body. When the breath come out, you don't have no more God in you. And the breath, this is the breath of God, is why we are here today. Praise the name of the Lord, bless the name of Jesus. I won't belong, don't worry, I'm not a long speaker. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy for, for the temple. 
For the temple of God is holy. Which temple are he? The Bible said our body is the temple of the living God. And if you destroy it, God will destroy you. We belong to Jesus. Whether you're on the outside or in the building, you still belong to Jesus. He's the father of the world. He's the one that came and died that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Bless the name of Jesus. Mm. And today, remember who you belong to. Remember whose house are you. Remember whose body is this. God will live by your head. He live on the inside of you. Bless the name of Jesus. Remember who you belong to, man. Sometimes we forgot. When we're, when we're at church, we belong to God and we're out of the street, we're not, we don't belong to God anymore. We do what we want to do, not work like that. Because, listen, God in your thought, in your in a one mind, God Almighty, every move that you make, God is there. There's no place to hide from God. So it better we behave ourselves. There's no place to run from God. Is with you wherever you are. Keep on running. And say his eyes move to and fro the heart. Wherever you run to God, it's there. Remember who, who's us are we. You know, it's, it's, it didn't say me, no. We, all of us, belongs to Christ. Bless the name of Jesus. So when you, when you think about doing anything, anything wrong, remember. If you're going to tell you something. If when the wrong thing, you're going to do the wrong thing, just look up. Just look up and you might remember. How God is in the heaven. When you think about doing the wrong thing, just look up. I say, not so, devil. Just look up. I remember who's sitting over your head, watching you. Praise God. And when you look and you remember, then you will do the right thing. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise his name. Praise his holy name. Bless his name. If you had a couple of other verses, then I'll be, I'll be finished. Praise God. Hebrews chapter 6. Verse 4, 5, and 6. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise him. For it is imp impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partaker of the Holy Ghost. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hey, mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. And have tasted the good word of God. And the power of the world to come. If, if, if they shall fall away to renewing them again. And to repentance. Seeing they crucify themselves to the son of God afresh. And put him to an open shame. What I want to say to the church today. Stop nearly hammering at Jesus hand. Blessed God. Stop driving near in a Jesus foot. When you accept him, we accept him to walk with him. But sometimes we still bang in the hammer as a crucify him. Hallelujah. It is time we stop crucifying Christ. Every sin you commit, you drive the nail a little further. God Almighty. Stop crucify our Savior. He did it a long time ago. Why are you still crucify him? He's not going back on the cross for you and I. So why go back to the, the mess that we used to in? Whose house are we? Bless the name of Jesus. Remember who you belong to. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm saying today. Those of you out of God and Christ who turn your back on him. I know you are watching and you are listening. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. You are watching and you are listening. Jamaica, England, America, Canada, wherever you are. Remember who you belong to. But he said he was married to the backslider. If you want to return to him, you have open arms ready to receive you. You can start. You're walking towards him today. You don't have to wait until tomorrow. Bless the name of Jesus. You can start walk to him today. He's not pushing you away. He wants you to come to him. Bless the name of Jesus. 
You can start drawing nigh unto him today because he will draw nigh unto you. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm saying to you, out of God and Christ, I mean, angels of, of us out there who turn up our backs on God, today is your day. All you have to do today, you can type it in the chat and Pastor Campbell will pray for you. Bless the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid. God is calling somebody today. Bless the name of Jesus. Type it in the chat and you can be prayed for. You don't have to put a name there. But just ask a prayer because somebody is in the house of God who can pray for you. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today is your day, sinners. Those who turn him back on Christ. God is calling you today. Bless the name of Jesus. If you notice, I did not bring any paper that I write anything and come up here. I bring the word of God. But I depend on the spirit of God. God is calling somebody today. Hallelujah. You can come to Christ today. Those that walk away from him. Today is your day. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm saying to us church. As a family. As brethren. Let us remember whose house are we. We belong to God. You see coming up here. Sister Sanji. Even I always come, I was nervous. But I still like the feeling. I was nervous. This is my when I was called into the comment, man, you didn't try to knock. But when I come, God says, all right, I'm, I'm standing beside you. Bless the name of you. I'm right here beside you. Go ahead. I'm here. You got company. You got backup. I'm right beside you. Deliver the word. Bless the name of Jesus. All we have to do, let God lead and we follow God. Allow God to lead you and you follow God. When God lead you, you can't go wrong because you are a child of the living God. Brethren, let us all our end of the bargain with God. I am not going to boast some as I say I'm living. You will see and you will know. It's not about the, the word that comes out of my mouth living for me. Me have to live. And you will see the light in me if I am living for God. You know, I said, Deacon, I'm living, I'm living. No, I will see it. God, give me spiritual I can see. And I can hear. So I'm saying to us today, brethren, let us live for God. Just remember who we belong to, Sister Rene. We know who we belong to. All of us in here, brethren, all of us in here know who we belong to. The children may not understand, but all of us as adult, Brother Andre, we know who we belong to. We know. Why are we here? She don't know who we belong to. Where are you in the house of God today? This man, I, I, when it comes about my time, brother, I watch the clock. And I tell somebody, I'm not going to drive because I got to go to the house of God. I got to be here. Because, Sister Jennifer, when Friday evening come, I'm so happy. I want to go home. And I know I'm leaving around 4 30. Last night they got the Halloween parade. I wasn't going to be a part of it because I'm leaving 4 30. So I said, God, if you make this a way for me that me can get your Sabbath, what, 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 what I'm going to waste my time, Pastor. I am going to serve God. For the last 20 years of my life, God give me Sabbath free. He said, nobody will antagonize you. Nobody will disturb you when Sabbath comes. You can't go home and worship God. I remember one principal came here, brethren. Act like she was a bully with everybody. Call me in the, to the office and said, You have to do some changes. You got to go home and talk to your family. I said, Oh, yeah. And she talked and she talked, and I stood up before two of them and I smiled. And when I said, You finish? I said, I leave it in the hands of the Lord. And I walk right out of the office. Because I know I am not going to work on no Sabbath for nobody. I know that thing had happened. And when when I call them to a school board, school board, I say, how long are you there? And I tell them, I say, I never worked on a Sabbath in my life. It's all right, we get back to you. And I go back to work the next day, she said to me, John, the school board say on Friday, 8 to 4.30. And principal comes and go, and one tell one, nobody asks no more question. One tell the other, nobody asks no more question because I am a child of God. And around them, I set the example because I know who I belong to. Bless the name of Jesus. I know who I belong to. 
Around them, I live my life. When somebody is there, they have breast cancer, John, pray for me. Bless the name of Jesus. They see the life that I live. They say, it don't talk much. When conversation, conversation come up and I'm supposed to be a part of it, we move away from it. It's not for me. I know what which conversation I'm supposed to be into. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. So, brethren, in spite of what we do, let us remember whose house are we, who we belong to. And if you remember that, I know we all can make it. I pray that you keep me in your prayer that I may continue to live for the Lord because he's worthy of all the praise. God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Bless the name of Jesus.